right guys welcome back to the channel hope you're all smashing it happy bank holiday well today got this 911 turbo in 600 horsepower monster beautiful car just been driven back from france so it's a bit mucky so my mates asked me to do a three stage paint correction on it and get it looking spick and span so let's crack on and see if we can get this beauty gleaming stunning car love these motors let's crack on guys First off guys, a weak mixture of TFR just to dislodge all that road muck and the bugs from its long journey. So after letting the TFR sit for a minute or two, we got on with the pressure washer, had it on a nice medium heat, not too hot, and just started to blast off all them flies and there was a lot of flies and a lot of road muck. And then we gave it a nice soapy wash. Because the sun was out today, I had to wash it one side at a time and blast it off one side at a time because the soap and suds would have just dried and then you've got nasty, horrible streaks and basically you've got to wash it again. So I had to be pretty quick today with the weather. it off got the microfiber towel and worked as fast as i can obviously the car's black so it's going to dry quicker just to get rid of all the water so there's no dreaded water marks on the car so i had to go as quick as i could start on a 911 turbo what a machine and what a noise i absolutely love these cars and they sound absolutely fantastic Once we got the car inside, we used some 3M tape just to protect the rubbers, which is important on a car like this. It's important on every car, but on a car like this, I don't want to burn them rubbers. Also, just laid the tape around the bottom of the canvas top as well, because one slip of the buffer could burn that canvas top, and that's not going to look great. So, best to be safe than sorry. guys first off we cracked on with a g3 cutting compound to get rid of any light scratches bird poo etchings or any other minor marks or blemishes now the 911 wasn't in bad shape but it did warrant having the compound notice as well i've put a towel on the roof because the buffer spins that fast and with compound basically lots of dust and wet compound flies off and once it's on that canvas roof it's really hard to get off so again better to be safe than sorry.
as I worked my way around to the front of the car, I noticed there was quite a few marks left over from flies that were washed off. Now flies are kind of like the same as a bird poop on your car. If you leave it to bake in the sun, it can cause permanent damage. And it's really important to get them off ASAP, especially on a dark color like this. We did get rid of most of the marks, but there still were marks left over. So top tip guys, you go on a journey and it's hot weather, get them flies off because it can cause permanent damage. So really important, get them flies off ASAP. second stage guys we used the raw anti-swirl polish which on a black car really important to use basically there will be light holograms from where you've used the buffer and this rectifies it and gets rid of them this stuff is absolutely stunning i'd recommend it to anyone for a second stage after compounding Final stage, use the Auto Glim Super Resin Polish just to give it that showroom shine, leaving the paintwork absolutely stunning. Then took all the tape off, got rid of all the little bits of dust because the tape served its purpose now. And the car is starting to look fantastic. all the super resin polish with a nice fresh red auto glim cloth these cloths are brilliant better than any microfiber cloths you pick up in home bargains or halfords or anywhere like that so i highly recommend auto glim cloths outside did the plastics did the tires gave the wheels a wipe and just gave it a final inspection and as you can see it looks absolutely stunning three stage paint correction on 911 turbo hope you enjoyed it and remember like and subscribe enjoy your bank holiday and we will catch you in the next one